I did my project on comparing non-renewable and renewable fuel energy. For the experiment portion of my project, I first burned a piece of cotton that was soaked in 35 drops of vegetable oil, and the vegetable oil represented the renewable energy source in my experiment. The cotton ball was placed two inches directly underneath of a pop can that was filled with water measured at exactly 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I timed how long the cotton burned for, and then as soon as it stopped burning completely, I stopped my stopwatch and I measured the water temperature. Then I repeated the process over again, but instead of using vegetable oil, I used motor oil. And the motor oil represented the non-renewable energy source in my experiment. I tested both of the oils twice, and this resulted in an experiment with four trials. The purpose of my experiment was to see if renewable fuel could produce an equal or greater amount of energy when compared to non-renewable fuel. From the results of my experiment, I was able to conclude that renewable fuel does not have that capability, which went against my hypothesis, but it's fairly close to producing the same amount of energy. After calculating the percent change of each trial, I noticed that the greatest difference between the two oils was only 5%, and that percentage came from the second trial that I did of each oil. Um, during the first trial, there was only a 1.5% difference between the two. Um, based on the two percentage change that I got, I don't think that it's impossible to replace a non-renewable fuel with a renewable fuel source.